things go according to plan, as they rarely do in this industry, by the time the 2012 Paris Air Show rolls around, Airbus will be closing in on first flight of the A350 XWB. But for now, the only flying that will take place is an animation, and sometime this year, when Rolls-Royce commences trials of its Trent XW turbofan on a flying testbed. That is not to say that there is not a furious level of activity at Airbus when it comes to the A350. Soon after this year's Paris Airshow, the aircraft maker plans to formally inaugurate the final assembly line at Toulouse, where the twin wide body will come together. First to be built is the A350-900, the 300-seat, 8,100 nautical mile range version around which the family, that also includes the Dash 800 and Dash 1000, is being built. Airbus is tweaking its approach to final assembly on the A350 to embrace production lessons learned from A380 cabin outfitting bottlenecks to allow for a smoother production ramp up. That could be critical if the aircraft maker is to avoid the pitfalls that befell the A380 and to assure the A350 does not suffer the same delay problems plaguing the rival Boeing 787. But Airbus's strong attention to avoiding A380 and 787-like missteps have not been enough to protect the A350's schedule from in its entirety. Since the industry gathered last summer at Farnborough, Airbus has had to acknowledge that the A350's entry into service will be late. First flight is now planned in the third quarter of 2012, and entry into service rather than mid-2013 now is slated for the second half of that year. And some industry observers believe that remains optimistic. But late last year, Airbus implemented a new program oversight structure to allow for more rapid decision making and also to keep a close watch on what is going on throughout the A350's expansive global supply chain. The hope is the step will raise alarm bells early and allow the industrial team to respond before problems get out of hand. To help reduce risk, Airbus completed a series of demonstration programs for the A350. One is of the fuselage to validate the concept of using composite panels mounted on a substructure, and it is also invested in a pylon demonstrator to verify key design elements for that element of the aircraft. Airbus enters the new period where design is being turned into reality with a healthy order book. Customers have placed firm orders for more than 570 A350s. What is clear is that from now through entry into service, there will be plenty of pressure on Airbus to keep the program moving forward. Flight testing has already been compressed to 12 months from 15, so there is not, not much more give once those trials begin. Even as Airbus is shifting its efforts to the production phase, that does not mean engineering activity will wind down immediately. For instance, the aircraft maker is still working on finalizing the detailed configuration for the A350-1000, the largest member of the XWB family. That work is to be wrapped up this year.